Hey there, welcome back. Now in this lecture, we'll be discussing about Postman. Now till now we have been using this browsable API. We have options to send a get request, post request, everything we can control from our browsable API. But as we move forward, we might work with authentication or maybe in future also, maybe you are working with JavaScript, maybe you are working with any other application. Chances are you are going to work with Postman. It's a third party software that help us to use API. So currently Django REST framework provide us this browsable API. So we are able to access it. But for any other development, you have to utilize Postman. So all you have to do is just jump onto the official website and create a free account. It's free. Also on Google, just search about Postman download and click on the first link. Here you will have option to download the software. It's free to use. You don't have to do anything. Just download this and make sure to register a free account. Once that is done, you will have something like this and you will have a login option at the top. You just need to use the same account which you have created. It's free account. You can just directly create an account and then log in here. Once that is done, we can use it. It's a simple process. It's free to use. That's it. So now with Postman, we have options to work with different API that we have recently built. For example, if I want to access the same thing, uh, if I want to access this stream page, all I have to do is just jump onto my Postman, click on this plus symbol. And here I'm going to put the URL, which is going to be my stream, which type of request that I need to send. I need to send a get request. That's it. Let me send. And here you can see I got the response. So this is how other are going to test. If you click on preview, this is the actual type of response that is sent to other user, maybe to front end or maybe someone who is using your API for mobile device or maybe for desktop device. They usually see like this, but since we are using third party software, we are using this browsable API. We are able to access them in proper pretty format. So here also I strongly recommend to just click on pretty and you will have this readable format. Otherwise this is the normal format in which API is sent. I hope you got the idea. Now at this stage, we are not going to work with different parameters or authentication or anything else right now with this lecture. In future, once we start with authentication, we are going to utilize this part. We are going to utilize these different type of part to send request. So this is pretty important, but once we dive deep with authentication as well as filtering and all other option. Now we are going to utilize both browsable API as well as Postman because this Postman is important in terms of industry purpose. That means actual real job. And the thing is, let us also try to work with some post request as well as some delete requests to test our API. So if I jump onto my views, uh, this is our current serialization. This is our current views. I'm going to remove this read only. Now we have options to do everything here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to test, create, update, retrieve, delete everything with this particular API. So the first thing I'm trying to do is access the ID number three, send a request. We got this ID. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to click on this header and here I can see complete detail about what I'm allowed to do. So I have options for get, put, patch and delete. Okay, let me remove this and send a request again. Click on header and here I am allowed to send a get request as well as post request. If you try to access same thing on a browsable API, it is much more readable. Jump back here. The other thing that you want to see is this, which is our status code. This is 200. Okay. Let me try to access any other random ID. I think this doesn't exist, which is 15 send. You can see we got 404 not found. I hope you got the idea what I'm trying to do. Now let us try to send a put request. So what I'm going to do is first I'm going to get the right URL, which is slash at the end. Okay, this is working fine. We need to follow this. Otherwise I'm going to get an error. So let me copy this one, select 
output here click on body since we need to send this data click on raw and here you need to select json let me paste this one i don't need to send id or watch list and here let me add updated now if i send this request you can see this is updated if i jump back to my database i can refresh here itself you can see this is updated now if i want to send a post request that means if i copy this one right now instead of my three let me just jump on to stream i am not allowed to send put request this should be very careful you we need to select the right request send a get request this is working fine let me try to send a new item let me try to select post and here let me try to add a new item so i'm going to send this content to post request to this url let me send so we have added this new item let me send a get request here it's working fine i hope you got the idea what we are trying to do now let me again select a new item which is three and this time i'm sending a get request when we are sending a get request this is not useful so don't worry about it so this is our get request we got the item three now let me remove this one and let me try to send a delete request and here if i send this request and here you can see it's not working so if i see it's not working the reason is we need to add a extra slash as i said this is the correct url for our individual element the end slash now if i try to send this request you can see the item is deleted so this end slash is important if it's mentioned here we are using model view set and according to that this end slash is important now if i try to jump here try to refresh we need to check if this is deleted or not if i refresh this one you can see three is gone so that's how we are going to perform get post put as well as delete i hope you got the idea i strongly recommend you to try other url and do some practice with postman it will help you to understand how these thing work so maybe just uh, comment this one your router right now and try to use these different url that will help you to understand more maybe try to add more movies and maybe review so this will help you to understand how this postman is going to work we will utilize both browsable api as well as postman in future also before ending this lecture make sure if you are going to close this here we have option about don't save so most student miss this but if you are working on a long project i strongly recommend to save or you can just directly close this postman and if you are going to reopen it next day or whenever you are going to reopen it and things are going to remain same these tabs are going to remain same so if i click here click on this don't save it is going to remove but if i just close this postman right now and open it later everything is going to work exactly the same way i know at this point of time this is a small point but later we are going to add tokens authentication tokens so we will have several details here and it is going to take lot of time to add these detail again and again for different tab so this is important when we reach authentication section i hope this lecture was helpful thank you for following and i see you guys in the next one